welcome back to Napoleon Total War with the Great War mod. Last time around we had more or less a disastrous battle, or I'd say and it's a very close battle against the Russians in the Baltic. Unfortunately we were beaten and not much of our fleet remains compared to that of the Russian fleet, although there's not much left of that either and they're not looking to repair this their fleet. But yeah, it's not good. I was hoping that I would be able to quite quickly move through there and uh, go ahead and attack Finland and let that become an independent, independent nation, within quotation marks. Um, if we go through and just go over the situation right now, uh, I do have, this army is more or less ready to march on the Mackinson. However, I am not really willing to move him forward. There's still some, I mean, they're quite happy, but there's a little bit of foreign uh, resistance to foreign occupation, and a lot of the happiness is because of the garrison that's here. Um, and the thing is, if I move forward here, we might come into quite the battle, and then we do have this army right down here that's coming up to flank us and currently we can count on no support because the army in the north is quite cut down and is receiving quite low rates of supply. I don't know if I can see how many turns it's going to take for them to be fully replenished. The ones with red supply is going quite awful. So we're not looking at anything here right now. If we're further down, I mean I could add, try to add on by k kicking out the Romanians out of the war, but I mean if the Greeks would come here again or someone else would come and take them out, I there's no way I would restart the campaign for a third time. So that's not happening. Over on the other side of Europe, we do notice that the British seem to be poised to quite quickly put down the Irish Rebellion, or the Irish Re Independence Movement, and I'm going to put that back into British control, um, marching across here. Now, I have given them quite a bit of technology, just so you know, like all that I have actually. Plus I have been giving them some money. So hopefully they can at least withstand one of their armies. The thing about it though is because, I believe it's because they don't have, I mean the region only has provincial administration which means that Plus, they have built a college at Cork. They probably should have built a factory, or should start building that into a factory instead, so they can actually build cannons. Currently, they can't build cannons, meaning I'm pretty sure they're going to get slaughtered by the British. So that doesn't look good. Over here, we of course kicked out the British invasion, and for now... They have not yet seen fit to send another. So, where do we have the active sort of area? Here is where I'm looking to make some moves against the Italians. Now, the Italians, they did reinforce north of the river here, of the uh, Piedmont Liguria region. However, I'm doing a feint with Hindenburg to maybe get them to go back here. And then we have the Duke ready to follow up. So we have we have some options here as we move through. As it looks right now, and as I've explained quite a few times, probably, is that right now I don't feel that confident in machine guns. I think there's they're not as useful as uh, they might be. I think they're a little bit too weak to actually be useful. So, as soon as I can, I will try to remove them and get something else in to uh, 
be able to actually put down. I think an infantry unit will do just as well as one of these machine guns. Um, so we're going to get rid of them once opportunity arises. O also, of course, why we're focusing on Italy is because compared to other regions, I actually have three armies here. We also have the Alpenco army ready to move. It's a really good army. It had a spectacular battle. It's ready to move and uh, we should actually start moving it. So I'm thinking currently, oh, I did not notice this. So we've got another Italian army to come around, which means that we would have four Italian armies around here against our two. But if I start to move the Alpenco army, if I start to move them out, and I set them on a course to Rome, then that might force the Italians, or should force the Italians, to move back and defend the capital. We're going to make sure here that we keep the city of Venice under our control by moving troops there. Kind of interesting how they put... I don't know why they decided to put Venice there. I don't think this is uh, the proper location of Venice. You see in, like... I think it's, it's more accurate, I guess, in Medieval, where it's actually kind of on this area. Um, or it sort of close... It's actually close next to the sea. Like you'd imagine Venice to be. That's almost a rhyme. Uh, anyways, time to end turn, and uh, it's going to be interesting to see what the enemy comes up with. What are they going to move? Are they going to foil my plans? Random invasion? Some god-awful neutral nation declaring war on me? Who knows? Portugal did. Some other might. We have another reconnaissance plane. Not entirely sure where I should send that one. I have quite a few at this point. Um... Might be interesting to actually know what the Romanians are up to. So we're going to send one over there. And as we do, we might see what the um, Austrians are doing. Probably just being stupid, running about. Crown Prince of Bavaria. Ah, look at that. They are, in fact, moving to intercept us now. They moved faster than I thought. I'm going to move and hold this bridge. We have another reconnaissance plane. And one that we completely forgot about. I guess I could send more across the sea to figure out what the British got going on. So I could have another one right here to see what they are doing. At the same time as we've got one over here to check if the British are crossing. Right. Oh, yes. The Russian Navy has moved in and they're blocking my port. However, my fleet is now repaired. His is clearly not. So I can e probably easily destroy that. But that's not what I want to do in this episode. Right now, anyways. We've got troops being recruited. Port blocked. We've got developed commercial sector and a few other things. And then the recruitments, technology, uh, let's see, what are the advances? Mobile warfare, rifle grenadiers, light machine guns, trench gunners. That's the next one. So the one that I actually did get was aerial warfare. Uh... And then we also got Dazzle Camouflage, upkeep from uh, upkeep on naval units, plus command in C when attacking, plus 2 when defending. Um, recruitment capacity, ships under construction, plus 1. So, next up is a female tank variant. Okay, so, does that mean that all ports are now able to recruit more ships? That would be nice. The battle cruisers are actually quite good, I notice, because they've got high accuracy. So we definitely need such cruisers. 
Yes, I guess it's increased the amount of ships. Oh, they're blocking me there. We're gonna get, or no, that's probably not what it was because I already had two everywhere. Hmm. Right, the Russians here actually moved back, but this army continues to move forward. What I need though, is even before I move on, I need some reservists to hold this area down. Same over here. We need reservists. Hmm. Or no, actually not. We want tanks, don't we? I want to see. Ta we want to see tanks in action. So I just recruited four tanks in Estonia. We're gonna see how that goes. Um. Going on spy aircraft. I want to see what they've got going on here. Huh. The um. Austrians could definitely push through there. I'm not sure what they're doing here. What this kind of thing is, what the Romanians are up to, really. Damn, that's a lot of cannons. That, and this army is even more. It's gonna, seems like it's gonna be quite hard to fight the Romanians. Once I get to around to that. Just because the amount of heavy artillery they have. Huh. The capital, though, kind of lies open. Right. Let's ba go back here. So... Uh, they continue to leave this area open. At the same time, I don't know if it would be interesting. I th I think we would want to fight. We wouldn't want to fight a big battle, not just fighting this guy right here, and then have the other two armies coming in as reinforcement. I don't think that's. I don't think that's going to be fun. Oh, what's this? One mortar. Excuse me. 700 men. Okay, that changed the plan quite a bit. A l one shit mortar unit is able to take out 700 men out of Paul von Hindenburg's army. Great. Great, is it not? Anyways, we're out of moves. We'll have to end turn again. Airplane detected. Alright, we have a Romanian scientist moving around. Researcher. Another... Oh, an enemy aircraft! Finally! Nice. It's a reconnaissance plane. Immediately! Where is my fighter? The Red Baron needs to go over there and shoot him down. Immediately. When I say immediately, it's going to take quite a few turns to fly across Europe. But we need to shoot that guy down. Uh, and then another reconnaissance plane in Belgium. I don't know, I guess I'll just put these guys for now, before I'm able to move them across. So I'm going to put them... As close to the channel as possible to see if I can spot anything. We've got um, reservists in Lithuania. As the Russians are not moving up here, I'm gonna move Mackensen over here to prepare defense against this army which is coming in, and then the reserve is gonna hold up there. Things being built. We've got another reconnaissance plane. This one's gonna go into Italy. That pissed me off though, last turn. Memorials, plus happiness, prestige, improved, improved machine guns. Uh, machine guns late. Unlock the recruitment of late machine guns. You know what, I think I talked about this way back. When we were doing, when I was doing scenarios with my brother, we were doing scenarios where, does the accuracy change? The accuracy change, 84. 68, yeah, it does change quite a bit. Um, because we were doing scenarios, and we were doing early war scenarios, and we noted on the fact that the machine guns have helmets, 
So I wonder if that's them. They have actually. Uh, that might be why he hasn't. Res why the devs haven't responded about my mach the, the stuff I've been saying about machine guns, huh? Because that's that's definitely new. I did not notice that. Hmm. So we got the early machine guns and the late ones, and the late ones have quite significant. So 84 accuracy compared to what does it say here? 68. That's qu that's quite a jump actually in in accuracy. That's very good. Very good indeed. Well, Paul von Hindenburg gains an ancillary. Junior officer's wife. Plus morale in battle. Um, some comfort from time to time. Imagine... Is that, the, is that what happened? Is that what happened after this disastrous little fight where one Italian mortar group managed to take out 700 men of your army? You took up positions with one of the junior officer's wives. Right, given that he's, he's going to be put to reserve then, and it's going to be Albrecht, the Duke of Württemberg, to move forward to attack. Yes, I have read your comments about me saying uh, Württemberg instead. I don't know, it seems, I guess that's an Americanism, is that what it's called? I don't know why I added an A there, Va Württemberg. Anyways, on to the attack! T the Italians also like the siege guns. And we're gonna get Paul in as well. We're gonna get John, Paul, Ringo, the entire band. Right. 2,500-ish Italians. Some elite groups, Bersaglieri, I'm going to have to figure out how to pronounce that, King's Guard, lots of troops. We do also have long guns, it's going to be an interesting fight. With that said, let's draw into conflict and smash these Italians at the Battle of Milan. And here's my setup and battle plan. On the right side, I've got all the regular infantry, and they're gonna charge across, attack the Italians head on as quickly as possible. I have put a machine gun next to them. As we can see now, I realize that it's early machine gun, because uh, maybe it should say early machine gun so you know that it's an early one. Um, with the pickle handle. And they're going to be just moved forward somewhere around here and act as a kind of defense in case the Italians push forward. Similarly, I've got another machine gun over here that's going to act the defense towards this area. I guess it's going to fire a bit into the woods. Uh, we've got the field artillery set up right here. So these are the um, 700 range. And then I've got the 1001 in the back. General situated over here. Then we've got the elite battalions, the guard infantry, ready to move forward, sprint forward, and support the Ruhr assault brigades, brigades, platoons that are uh, able to spawn right up front here on the hill. It's going to hopefully massacre this little mortar. The uh, Dragoons and the two cannons quickly take that out. And then, yeah, that's going to be it. So with that, let's start the battle. I'm going to start by moving you up forward. Then the infantry, I'm going to start marching them to the front. And then we're going to get the elites to start marching this way. And the Roars start losing troops immediately so I'm gonna focus all artillery onto this area currently I want these guys to focus in on the cavalry right we've got tons of artillery coming down over there 
Let's go ahead and speed up the elite units. They're down to 50. Let's pull back. Cavalry is more or less dead. I want to move you then over here. You're down to 36 now. There's no point in you continuing being on the front. Anyways, you can sit behind, throw hand grenades over the top. Same time, the uh, infantry is advancing over here. I have no interest right now in rushing them. Plenty of shots going down over here. The Italians are pushing at least four units of infantry to move over here. Come on, guys! Shoot the bastards down! I guess I could move these guys below, or kind of hide here, and as the uh, Italians get close, I could throw the hand grenades on them. Let's go ahead and set up. And prepare for the Italians to come across. The Italians get close enough, we'll have uh, the grenades ready. I think they're shooting each other here, so I'm gonna get you to hold fire. Also, the artillery should now switch, focus on the batteries over there. I noticed that they haven't actually deployed any of them for some god awful reason. Let's see if we can't close in a little bit here. Not entirely sure why the Italians have not deployed the guns. That hasn't really... I'm gonna pull these guys back just so we get... See if we can get grenade toss out of these guys if the enemy moves forward. They're getting flank shot here. Let's see, they're about to come within range. Hold your fire. I want to see some hand grenades. You're killing everyone. Hold your fire. It's a little bit much when you have to handicap yourself that much just to see. I think they're ready to throw some hand grenades. Maybe. The machine gun has opened up. Oh, now they're ready. Hand grenade time! Fine. Open fire. Oh, at the same time, these guys have come a lot further than I thought, even just with walking. Machine guns opening up. Well, uh, I'm gonna pull these four back. I'm gonna kind of redraw a line a little bit. As the machine gun is able to fire through here, why don't we let it? Oh, we're shooting tons of our own here. You're gonna pull slightly back as you move forward like that. Let's go back over here. We're gonna force these two up through the hill. Actually, how about a bayonet charge? Why, am, why are we still focusing artillery shots way over here? We should be blasting on this side. Uh, it looks like the Italians... The Italians? The Italian army is crumbling. A bayonet charge just swept them away. I think we have it, boys. I think we have it. The enemy is completely done for.
I want additional firepower brought down on this one. They're retreating. We have it. We are victorious. Milan has fallen to our victorious arms. Hooray! And all within less than 10 minutes. I was expecting more of a battle, or at least more losses, given the, their, the fact that they had siege artillery. But they just didn't deploy them. And that's their own bloody fault. From humiliation to absolute victory. The Duke has... Uh, what is it called? He's um, renewed the confidence in German arms. His earlier problems were single unit, single mortar unit were able to take out a third of Hindenburg's army almost. Here we were able to completely crush the Italians. Even though I noticed quite a few places during the battle where we shot our own troops, it wasn't actually that bad. Although we did shoot about 80. We shot 81 of our own soldiers. So it's not super great, but... I mean, it could have looked way worse. The Italians just melted away. I was quite surprised by that. Not so much of a stiff resistance. We'll peacefully occupy the area. And nervous twitch. I think that's for all my generals at this point. They've all got nervous twitch sharpshooter. Hmm. Go ahead and repair the area. Anything funky? I want to move. I want to get the rail guns in, but I think we're gonna use them against the English instead. Hindenburg definitely needs to move within the area with his army. Given that he lost so many men. Let's see, the Italians moved over here. Given that that other battle was only like, what, five minutes. Maybe I should do this one as well. Do the bridge battle. Might be more difficult though. What I could do, as that one was so short, is we could do the naval battle. And add that to it. I mean... They don't stand much of, much of a chance, do they? Have they captured anyone of mine? Do we recognize anyone? This one is definitely one of our captured. The battle cruiser. Plus it's called SMS, so... This one's definitely captured. Bastards. Right. On back, I was about to say back on the high seas, but I wouldn't call the Baltic high seas, but... Right. Revenge it is. Given that the enemy fleet is more or less toothless, we're going to close in quite a bit to, uh... to cut them down. So I have my two... Battleships moving this way. They're the ones with the long range. And then I've got the pre dreadnought battleships moving here together with the destroyer. I should actually stop the destroyer there. Unnecessary, kind of, to lose that one. I'm gonna lower your speed just a little bit. You're a bit too close to each other. Whoa! Lost, lost almost 50 cannons in that one broadside. I was gonna, uh, I was gonna give them a little bit, a little bit of a chance. I thought, and I'm not gonna fire on them immediately. And I lose 50 cannons. Right, give the bastards hell. 
I mean, they don't have more than, like, the one that has the most has, like, 17 cannons on it. Thing is, this one's already lost half its cannons. This one still has 80, though, so that's good. So the pre-dreadnoughts are going at each other, and the little destroyer... I don't think the destroyers have been able to fire yet, because it just barely comes into range. Right about now. Or maybe not. Maybe I have to go even closer. There we go. Now it's firing. Right, so let's take, take a look at the Admiral. They've got a good range on all of these. Had something like that. Once again, I'd say these are. Uh... Now he's down to 15 cannons. Wow, they just melt away. I don't know what it is. Exactly, that makes it just... Just like they melt away so quickly. Right. Head completely up. I was gonna say north, but it's actually east. Okay, we've got one... Dreadnought battleship that is retreating. I'm just gonna go straight in between here. Fire on their sides as we go. We've got the Borodino class. So you've got 11, 11 crew left. Six cannons. You've got 59 though, that's pretty good. And now you're firing through both sides here. You're gonna run into that one. Oh, you've surrendered? That's not great. Suddenly, this naval battle is not as a sure thing. Oh, now you're in the way of the Admiral, you bastard. You tool. Are you still within range of this? Okay, yes you are. I want you to set a normal pace. And then I want you to put everything in the boiler. We've got the little destroyer going around. Still actually has quite a few cannons. And then you're now down to 18. There still remain some cannons here. I One think of our ships is withdrawing from the fight. I've lost two ships at this point. Well, the enemy has in fact only lost one. Great. Although we'll be able to recover this one when we win. Let's go back into that. Yeah, still within range here. Able to put down shots. Am I... Okay, so this side actually has 7. 19. 29 on the other side. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna turn around. We're gonna turn around. There's more cannons on that side. You're down to 11. You have 6 on that, 3 on that. Let's see if we can turn these five on the enemy admiral, and it's on his weakened side as well. We might just... what happened there? Is he sinking or what's... what? No message about it? Come on. I think we missed with those shots. I think that overshot. I don't know why you didn't want to fire. 
Oh, you've got zero cannons on that side, five on this one. Eight, though, so there's two in the front might still be working, one in the front is working. And then the ones in the back, I guess. The, the little... No, the destroyer is still alive. Pushing good fire into this. I've, we've had too far, kind of. This one wasn't giving... Wasn't having a good arc of fire. Looks good. Looks good. I'm surprised this battle is taking as long as it is right now. Very slow. He's gonna come up right next to me here. Oh, he tried to fire his forward cannon on me. Hold. We're gonna allow him to uh, pass us. So I can fire into him. Or is he just gonna sit there? What if I turn my ship then? Oh, it's the wrong side. There's no cannons on that side. Is this guy's coming coming up on four? Two good hits. Can you reverse? No. Wait, what? The other one was taken out. Um, they're actually abandoning ship at this point. Yeah, they're jumping off. The I only have one. I only have the admiral then. The admiral plus one ship. And I mean, I would say the Russian fleet is still going strong, but there's seven people on that one, seven on that, ten, nine, and the um, actually this is the admiral. I should turn around so I can get some good shots on that one. And it is the battle cruiser. It is the captured ship. Oh, nice. The forward cannons. Why, right, just sit there then, if you don't want to move. So it's just this one and the admiral left. And the admiral's throwing in long shots. Good shots here. But, oh, now they're firing the back cannons at me. Okay, can I turn you around then? Start to turn. I want to get some shots in on this guy. Oh, I want that one exploded. It's kind of funny in a way that... The uh, naval battle went as shit as this. I was not expecting this. Finally! I was able to put enough shots into him to uh, stop him. Here's the result of that battle. I deployed five ships, lost two. The enemy deployed six, they lost two. But then I also captured two of their ships. Meaning that I'll have five. While he... I'll, you know what, I'll recapture my own, I'll take that one back. I'll definitely take that one back. Um, the Russian, no, it's got so much points, though. We'll take it on. We'll take it all on. Wonderful. Um, but yeah, that's it for this episode. God, I didn't think the bloody uh, naval battle was going to take... It almost took half an hour to sink them. Right. Anyways, I'll say as I always say, hopefully you guys enjoyed this, and hopefully I'll see you guys for the next one. Bye.